Welcome to the King Galleries Artist Series. I'm Jennifer Tafoya. Jennifer is a great-granddaughter of Santa Clara potter Severa Tafoya. She learned to make pottery from her father, Ray Tafoya. Since 2000, Jennifer has won numerous awards for her pottery. She does lectures and demonstrations throughout the year and has been featured in a variety of magazines. From realism to dinosaurs and Asian-inspired imagery, her work is continually evolving in creativity and complexity. Her distinctive style is focused on realistic imagery etched into the surface of the clay. So we start out with a fully sanded, water uh, smooth piece, and I'm going to apply clay slip. Just use the back end of this paintbrush to kind of smash down the clay. Got these polishing stones from my mom. Had them probably about 28 years since I was a little kid. They were just her leftover ones that she didn't want, but I really liked them and they worked good for me. So I've been using them ever since. And then this one I got from Nancy Youngblood. It's one of my favorite ones. So I usually use it like a finishing stone. In some respects, I'm a traditional potter. In how I gather the clay, I go to the same clay pits as my father. Some of the shapes I make are traditional. I polish the same traditional way using a stone and fire the same way. Outdoors with the manure, pine slabs, and cedar. This is how I start all of my pieces. Oh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna draw horn lizards. The drawing doesn't have to be perfect. Pretty much after I get the design drawn down, then I use this tool and I'll draw the outline. I will just go over this and I will refine the drawing and I'll get more of the detail into it. The etch into it, that's permanent. So right here I'm just drawing the ribs of this leaf. Light scratches are just deep enough for the color to stick. Really hard piece of yellow ochre I found in the bottom of a lake. These are my clay colors and I find them mostly all around northern New Mexico. There's a couple of colors that I have from Colorado and Texas. I find my colors pretty much by hiking, you know, some interesting clay on the hillside. Then I'll take a sample of it, take it home, try it out. I use a old watercolor tray because it just makes it easier to keep all the colors in like one place. I have to make sure the slip is the right thickness. Usually, when I'm painting, I'll do all the same color all around the whole piece and then switch to the next color. So a lot of these colors are pretty rare and I can't waste any. The thing that is contemporary about my pottery is my designs and the colors. I will try different ideas or see an animal in nature and draw that on pottery. I 
I am always inspired by nature. I want to do the best I can do with the material I have, trying to get more detail and lifelike with each piece. This is Charles King. Thank you for joining us for the online artist series. Please check out our galleries online at kinggalleries.com or visit us in Santa Fe or Scottsdale.